So the NSA has a wide variety of James Bond-like tools for getting at specific computers and specific pieces of data. There's a group called Tailored Access Operations, and their job is the black bag team, to get in and get stuff that's really valuable and really secret. They do... They usually say nothing is as it seems. In this case, it might very well be true. Bitcoin, the buzzword that has encapsulated society ever since 2017 and more so during the last pandemic might have been the mechanism of NSA. Yes, National Security Agency, where are the connections? Proofs an avid viewer might say. Well, let's dive in. NSA is one of America's most prominent security organizations. The organization that has a backdoor to all the tech companies that resides in America. It's almost impossible for a large-scale tech company to operate in America without kissing the ring of the NSA. One of the main goals of the NSA is focused around encryption. They have hired some of the world's best engineers to design complicated encryption tools that can break systems. They are responsible for global monitoring, connection, and processing of information and data for foreign intelligence and counterintelligence purposes. How does NSA ties into Bitcoin, one might say? Well, the very hashing algorithm that Bitcoin uses the SHA-256 function to encrypt certain parts of its architecture was designed by the NSA in 2001. SHA-256 is used in two major parts of the Bitcoin network. Mining uses SHA-256 as the proof-of-work asterisk algorithm and SHA-256 is also used in the creation of Bitcoin addresses. Given NSA's long history, that function might come equipped with a backdoor where they can break in and process every transaction. It's impossible for Bitcoin to operate in America like that without a hand in it from major agencies. The very notion of privacy and security that Bitcoin promotes is a national security threat to America. The big players would not sit back and watch Bitcoin spread like wildfire among the population and they are not in the weed of things. To even further build this case, the NSA released a paper in 1996 called How to Make a Mint, the Cryptography of Anonymous Electronic Cash. That shows a vision for a cashless society. They list four things as indispensable in their proposed network. Privacy, user identification, message integrity and non-repudiation are very eye-opening read for anyone interested and the link is provided in the description. These evidences do not lead to a conclusion but it might be naive to leave them out of a viable argument. Bitcoin could very well be the brainchild of NSA and other agencies operating in America. The motives are unclear but the evidences are too coincidental to push under the rug.